What FXE Price is aiming to do is bringing electronic pricing from the emerging markets into the mainstream. Where, for example, 10 to 15 years ago, we saw a radical change in the major currencies, in the G10, the G20 currencies, where these all became online and streamed pricing and everyone had access to them. What FXE Price is now trying to do is do the same for the developing world currencies so that we can give our banks and these markets the chance to stream their pricing into our customer base and our customer base consists of the global banks so really bringing streaming pricing from emerging markets into the into the mainstream developed world what we found with dealing with the banks in emerging markets is that there tends to be quite large disparities between some of the banks in these markets as to what their technology budget is what access to technology they have, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the joys of the, of the FXE price um, technology is it's cloud-based. And really what this means is that the, the correspondent bank in the local market doesn't need to run any infrastructure themselves. They, they don't need to be able to um, connect to any hardware. They're purely and simply connecting across an internet uh, connection to our cloud-based um, product. And, and really why we see this as being very innovative is it gives the opportunity for all the banks in that local market who we're connected to, to be on a level playing field. They don't have to necessarily have a huge technology budget to be able to do this. They are now able to connect very simply and it, it puts a level playing field for every bank in that market to be able to push their pricing into the, into that, into that, into the international market. So, I mean, ultimately, the end user is going to be the ordering customers, the corporates who bank with the global banks. And we are, our customers tend to be the, the top 15 to 20 banks in the world who are on the transaction banking side, who have customers who have a need to make a payment in local currency accurately into the developing world, into the emerging markets. Um, and we were going to be feeding these pricing directly into those banks, so those banks can see where the local market is at any one time. Um, and obviously the, the, the ultimate final customer is going to be their customers. Historically, price discovery in emerging markets has been a very manual, slightly high-touch process involving, you know, manually contacting and speaking to banks in these local markets. Whereas what we aim to do by this is bringing kind of up-to-date technology into these markets so that we can actually see the price at any one given time. Um, and banks in these markets will have an opportunity now to price and capture transactions electronically and instantly rather than it always having to be a reactive process. This is not something we're charging for. This is something that we are, we've developed in order to bring more transparency. As I said earlier, our customers are the global banks. One of the things that's extremely important now to the global banks and to, to their underlying customer, particularly considering the type of markets that we serve for these banks, is the transparency of the local market price. They can negotiate with their customers to charge them a fixed percentage for access to these markets, but they need to give their customer comfort that the price they're basing their, their, um, their charges off is in fact the true market price. And that's what, the, um, that's what we're doing here. So it's not a question of charging for it, it's a question of helping bring transparency um, into the market. So it, it, we aren't charging our customers for it, we're actually doing it as a value add to, a, to our customer base. What we want to do in the early stages of this is give our partner banks, so we have about 345 partner banks in the, in the emerging markets who are our correspondent banks. And what we're doing in the, in the initial stage is trialing this with a handful of those banks to get their feedback to see if it works for them. Because at this moment in time, a lot of the risk has been warehoused on our side rather than the banks in these markets seeing live pricing and live opportunities. We're obviously going to work with them to get their feedback to see what transaction size they're comfortable with, 
executing electronically as opposed to always responding to a request. And once we kind of build up that, we're going to go out to our entire uh, correspondent network and really bring them into the conversation where they can see the advantage of having their prices displayed transparently around the world rather than always being in a very narrow, it depends who picks up the phone to them. So the marketing strategy really is to go to these banks and say, here's an opportunity to get your pricing out into the wider world. And obviously because of that, hopefully you're going to capture more business and customers are ultimately going to be happier with dealing with them.